Hello, I'm Alan Tort, Professor Emeritus of Art and Archaeology of Pre-Imperial China at the École Pratique des Hautes Études in Paris. The École Pratique was founded 150 years ago for teaching young advanced students in fields that are not represented in French university. Today we shall explore questions related to artistic expressions in early China before its first unification in an empire. And the period covered by my study is from the 15th century BC to the 3rd century BC. The area stretches from Beijing in the north to the middle region of the Yangtze River in the south and from the Shanxi province to the east coast. In my lecture, I will show first that art was mainly inspired by the animal world and avoided to represent human beings and, of course, demons and gods. Artists represented real animals and imaginary animals. Animals were often combined together in such a way as to cover most of the surface of ritual bronzes. Most often in the decoration of Shang bronzes, wild animals, in particular those that were hunted or had specific powers like owls or poisonous serpents, were preferred to livestock. In fact, at that time, ritual bronzes were the main manifestations of religious art, and most, if not all, of artistic expression was of a religious nature. However, in the early 5th century BC, a sudden change occurred in central China and in the south center of China. Creatures of a totally new kind were then invented in several different cultural contexts. God, spirits, and demons began to be represented in the shape of half-human, half-beast creatures. They may have a posture like human beings, but uh, they have an animal head and they may have claws at the end of their members. This is one example. Or they have a human head and an animal body, like guards protecting the coffin of a deceased, or tomb guardians devouring snakes. And also we shall see strange creatures living in the nature. Moreover, these images of hybrids monsters of a new kind, and also anthropomorphic deities, were introduced within a rather short time. This major change happened when, for the first time, pictorial images were introduced by the artists. When they began to show scenes taken from the aristocratic way of life, with activities such as hunting, archery contests, or feasting. These major changes in the artistic expression occurred at a time when the elite members, uh, the elite families, were completely replaced by new elites. Probably the new elites originated in uh, uh, former lower classes of the society, and probably they brought with them new religious beliefs that needed to be expressed in a different way. I think that these changes occurred at a time that was becoming very unsafe. The different kingdoms and states were doing war in order to conquer or to defend themselves. So it's in this very unsafe atmosphere that the images of uh, hybrid creatures, uh, frightening creatures, were expressing the fears of the members of the society of the time. 